morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. As you can see behind me, I got the grandpa vet up on the trailer. Everything is loaded up, ready to go. The Duramax is ready to pull. And uh, this is going to be the first ever racing event in the C6. I can't wait. Uh, we're going to Pocono Raceway, always a really fun venue. You get to drive on the NASCAR track. It's a lot of fun and uh, we'll see how it does. Love getting everything strapped down the night before. That way you can just wake up and go. I hate doing, I hate doing it in the morning. And I also have, uh, if you can see over there, lots of race fuel. We're definitely gonna be able to run on the middle setting. Um, I don't think I have enough. There's too much 93 in there to run on the full kill 1200 wheel, uh, but we can run on a thousand wheel, which is, I mean, that's a lot for a car that weighs 3,000 pounds. Before I go any farther, I want to let you guys know that today's upload is brought to you by longtime friend and sponsor of the channel, Dollar Shave Club. I'm sure that you all know by now, but if you somehow do not, in case you are Patrick Starr and you live under a rock, Dollar Shave Club has everything. They got you covered from your head to your toes. They got deodorant to make your armpit smell good. They got toothpaste, toothbrushes, shampoo, body wash, shaving stuff, butt wipes, lip balm, anything you could possibly need. It's been wonderful because I hate shopping and I have not had to go shopping now for about half a year for anything personal hygiene related. What we're talking about today though, boys, is the classic, the original, the Dollar Shave Club Starter Shave Set. What you get is their executive razor with a weighty handle and you get six replacement blades. You also get a three ounce tube of Dr. Carver's Shave Butter, the best product in the entire world. I even use it on my Duramax. You know I trust it. Right now, if you check out my link down below, you can try the Shave Starter Set for only five bucks after that replacement parts are sent to you for the regular price. Could not be any easier or convenient. Shipped right to your door. Check out dollarshaveclub.com slash streetspeed717. Again, that is dollarshaveclub.com slash streetspeed717. And again, the link is down below in the description. Check them out and check out all the awesome stuff they have to make your life better. I've been using DSC Dollar Shave Club for about two years now, and it's awesome stuff. I even shaved for this video, um, but they support me by sponsoring videos, and if you wanna support them, if you need their stuff, that would be awesome. This offer is only for a very limited time, so if you wanna check them out, use the link and do it quick. All right, Big D, are you ready? A little workout today, only, only like 5,000 pounds, nothing, that's nothing. As is tradition, word sheets meeting up before the trip. We've got Beaver over here in a all black Z06. Looking pretty good. Looking good, buddy. Oh man. Dude, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be wild. No chance of my boost? I don't have enough race fuel. What do you think? CR1 wheels, baby. That's great. I know, dude. All grandpa. Looking good in the blue. Oh. Uh, it's actually, yeah, a lot tighter than I thought it was gonna be. Sheet's gotta be playing music. I can't like film too much because I'll get copyright striked. Fueled up, and uh, I guess this is it. This is the, uh, the beginning of the journey. been to one of these events I highly recommend it check out slipstream racing on Instagram I mean it's really cool the, the fact that you get to drive on the NASCAR track you know on in the stands right it's like you feel like a race car driver it's pretty cool even when you're not definitely the coolest venue I've ever raced at by far like nothing else even comes close what's up man how are you Got to get some pics of the truck around here too. I've never had the Duramax up here. Oh, this is a little tight. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you come through the tunnel and you see the big, I guess you would call it stadium, I guess is what you would call it. What'd you call this? An arena. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You see the big stands and everything. Grand, you see the grandstands. Yeah. That's the right word. You already got your number and everything. Oh, done. Dude, you're organized. I just, I literally just parked. I saw that. I, I couldn't find a spot. Did it's packed up. Park down there. No, it was like that's in a separate area, so I had to come up here.
got my five gallons of C16 in. The only problem is I did have a little over a quarter of a tank of 93. So for safety reasons, not gonna run it on the full kill setting because I'm not on full race gas. We don't want anything to go wrong. We don't wanna blow up, um, but we should be able to do middle setting thousand wheel, no problem, and definitely low boost setting that should be fine up, man? how are you doing excited about the grandpa bet dude. oh yes dude i'm very excited <laughs> checked in sorry to interrupt everyone's conversation SLR McLaren, you don't see that every day. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen one in person before. It's really cool. That hood is massive. The video's not going to do it justice, but that's awesome. Racing in Crocs. Let's, yeah, in the Crocs. I like the Crocs. Did, did you drive it down the track in the Crocs? Good. That is so sick. <laughs> that's awesome. 600 LT as well. Roof scoop car. Looks awesome, bro. Hey, you ran 152. That's all. Did you did you know your mile per hour? Yeah, one. It was like 151 point like eight something. Really? That was awesome. I'll see you. I'm going to go against Allen right now, so. Oh, in happened. the 720? Yeah. Okay. DME Stage 2 600 LT, and it's about to go up against a DME Stage 2 720. That should be a good race. 720, I feel like has it's going to have about 10 to 15 mile per hour on it, but should look really cool going down the track. And this is just epic. That's so sweet. Inside, you can tell it's an older car. Outside, you really can't though. Like it's still, it's such a unique design. DME 600 LT and the DME 720. Nine four for the 720, 10 two for the 600. At probably, oh, okay, 159 and 151. Run number one, we lined up against uh, the Porsche and the car ran good. Now I had it on the low setting for this first run and uh, I started in second gear. So the car felt like okay, but it didn't feel great to me. It felt like it wasn't making a whole lot of power. Now it was still quick and you know we won against uh, the Porsche and I think it ran like 159. 
but that felt slow to me because for reference, my ZR1 ran 149. So the Grandpa Vet ran 10 mile per hour faster, but with like 200 more horsepower. And I felt like something wasn't right. And, and the Grandpa Vet is light too. So I was like, well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Like something must be wrong with the car. Like it just, it just doesn't feel as fast as it should. But then the other part of me was like, well, maybe you're used to really fast cars and 850 wheel just doesn't feel that quick. So I bumped it up to the 1000 horsepower setting and uh, we lined up against a McLaren 720, a stage two tuned McLaren 720S. So just like my old car and uh, this is what happened. Grandpa Vet took off like a rocket and then like just kind of died and it was breaking up up top didn't feel great something was definitely wrong with the car um, I probably shouldn't have even ran at that time because I knew I knew something was up it just wasn't making power and again it ran 159 so it ran the same speed uh, as on the low setting I called LMR and they said that it's probably a spark plug and that's what I, the spark plug got a little too hot melted it and that car really isn't made for roll racing anyway it's made for like you know the drag strip and you can drive it around kind of slow but that's tough on the car you know running it down the strip and being that high in the rpm range for a long time that's over a third mile so it's much longer than the quarter mile and keep in mind by the end of that uh like straight away i'm at basically 7,000 rpms and it's a power glide so i climb really slow that car is in like the upper RPM range the entire time. So that engine is working hard. It's getting hot. That's a lot of heat and a lot of work for that car to handle. Um, so probably melted a spark plug. That's what was going on. The car took off though like crazy on that 720 run. <laughs> And it, it was definitely a big bummer because I was absolutely going to destroy that car and it was going to run really good. I think though, based on the RPMs, and I was kind of wondering about this. I was like, with the Power Glide, how much gear do I have? I know the car ran 170 in the quarter mile, um, but I feel like, you know, I was thinking how much over 170 could I go? People were asking me, you know, what do you think the car is going to run? And I really didn't know. I, I felt like it could do 170 or more. Uh, but I don't know how much gearing I have based on, you know, I was doing about 160 miles per hour where I was in the RPM range. I was at about 65, you know, pretty close to 6,500, close to seven. The car revs to like 7,500. So I feel like that car, the grandpa vet can only do probably top speed around 180, 185, somewhere in there, I think at the most. And I mean, it was close. Like at the end of the run, I was at red line. I was pretty close to, to red line. So I think the, I think the grandpa vet uh, probably tops out around 180. Now, if we put in a different trans, I mean, it could do probably, I mean, that car could do like 250 and it gets to 180 really quick. Um, so it kind of sucks. Pocono was, it's a great event. I love the venue. Driving on the NASCAR track is one of the most fun thing, one of the most fun events that I go to. It's always a great time. Uh, Slipstream does a great job of organizing. Um, so a little bit of a bummer. The car was going to run so strong and it was taking off like a, a rocket. I was ready for it too. It was like a little bit, I'm not going to lie. It's nerve wracking. That is, like I said, the fastest car I've ever owned by far. Um, and it was ready to, to rock and roll, but we had a, a slight issue, but that's okay. Stuff happens, not upset about it. The car is fine and uh, we'll get that little issue worked out. Um, should probably put some heat sleeves on the wires there and potentially going forward, get a bigger radiator so the car can drive more at events like that, where it's not quarter mile park, wait, car cools down, run again. I mean that for Pocono, I'm running down the strip, driving around the, the bend, and gone again, you know, waiting in line, idling for a while. So that's tough on the car for sure. No worries, still had a great time. Pocono, like I said, always really fun. And I'm ready to go again in, I think, late September. I would say the Grandpa Vet's first event went really well. It's my fault I didn't prepare the car better for that type of event. 
and it still did really good. I mean, think of it this way, even though the car wasn't working 100%, it was probably around 60 to 70%, if that, it was still a lot faster. It was almost as fast as a DME Stage 2 720S. It was like four miles per hour off and the car wasn't, it's like not even working right. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, definitely the grandpa vet is no joke. Next time, next time we'll get him. So I wanna close out the upload with a Q and A. Now, usually when I upload and you're watching the video, I just got done editing that like an hour ago before you're watching it. Um, but this time I, had, I got done early, had some time and I was like, well, we have enough time for a Q and A and I have not done one in a while. So that's what we're doing. I've posted up this rather good picture of the Duramax 19 minutes ago. And so far we have 729 questions. Now I try to start at the very bottom so that people that were here first get their questions answered. Um, but we'll see, sometimes Insta Instagram hasn't worked, hasn't been working great lately. Like the comments don't show up or you know, like things disappear. And I'm trying to scroll like this half the time and it scrolls over, even though I don't ever go left to right, I'm scrolling up and down and then it goes over and I lose my spot. And it takes a while to scroll through 800 questions, but I'm gonna try to get to the bottom and I'll start then. So I'm pretty close and uh, one that I see coming up all the time, when do you plan on getting married and having kids? Well, it's gonna be pretty soon. Um, my girlfriend and I have been together going on four years now. Uh, we share a wonderful life together. She is definitely my best friend, soulmate. Uh, you can see her sometimes I post about it like on our anniversary not too long ago. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, I think it's really important to find somebody that you wanna share your life with and she is definitely that person. So we will be getting, you know, we'll be doing all that soon. I, the pressure's not on for me. You know, some people feel like you have to get married right away or you have to have kids by a certain age or do something. I've never felt that way. I feel like, you know, when the time is right, the time is right. But I'm getting older, you know, I'll be 26 and I wanna have kids, not right now, definitely not right now. I'm having way too much fun doing the car stuff. Um, and I would feel, I would definitely slow it down because when I'm ready to have kids, I wanna be a parent. I wanna enjoy being a parent. I don't wanna be worried about work. I don't wanna be worried about cars and doing all that other stuff. I wanna be able to kind of focus on my kids. Um, so that's why I'm waiting until the time is right for me. Hope that answers uh, the question. Let, let me just, can we get an update on the dogs? Here we go, I'm just gonna go random. It's, it's, there's so many questions. Uh, yes, update on the dogs. All the dogs are good. My male bulldog often stays with my mom because she really loves him and I mean, so do I. But we have the other two dogs and he doesn't like other dogs that, I mean, he tolerates them and they're fine, but he, he likes getting spoiled by grandma, but he's here from time to time. He was in an upload like a week or two ago, um, but all the dogs are good. Even though it's been, you know, the bulldogs are getting old. They're 11 now. So it's been difficult. The health problems, Savannah, our female bulldog had cancer uh, last year, might be even two years ago now. Um, so that was a thing. She's luckily recovered, had surgery. The male bulldog obviously went through a lot recently with a huge number of health issues. He's really lucky to be alive. We're very lucky to have him. Um, there was a period of time where I wasn't uploading. It was one of the one of the hardest times in my entire, probably the hardest time in my entire life, honestly, uh, when he had his health issues because he's like my son. I've had him for so since I was what fourteen or fifteen. And, uh, you know, it was tough. I mean, I was going back and forth to Philadelphia like every day for a week, which I know some people commute, commute that every day. So I'm not saying like that's a big deal, but it was taking up a lot of time um, to go up to the University of Penn Veterinary Hospital. So it was wild, but for right now, all the dogs are good. The little puppy's great and we're having a, we're having a blast. What was your first vehicle? That was a 1989 Chevy Silverado, also a very popular Question, uh, first car, talked about that. Are you gonna buy another OBS? I might buy another OBS. Uh, we shall see. Um, kind of a bummer what happened, but I do have the Blazer as well and I have a lot of other projects. I have the GT500, the ZR1, the Grandpa Vet, the Duramax, the Blazer. And I'm looking at getting back into the Jeep game with something shortly. So we'll see, I don't know. I got a lot of cars though, that's for sure. And I still don't have like a, a supercar, the ZR1 is definitely faster than a Huracan, faster than a 570 or 600 LT, I think. We'll race one soon and find out. But I don't, I kind of want 
maybe a Lambo, maybe, it's, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want yet, but there's a lot of, I got a lot of cars. I have a lot of vehicles now and I, <laughs> I might be getting more soon. I just want too many cars. I'm like a, it's like I have a serious problem. Favorite car that I've owned would definitely be, favorite car I have owned, um, probably my 570. That was besides like the original Corvette that I bought because that was like really cool, you know, getting my dream car, C7 Corvette. Um, so that was fun in its own way. But the best car I think was my 570. I had a lot of fun with that, a lot of memories, drove it a lot. It was very, unlike my 720, the 570 was very reliable. And uh, that was that was a great car, and that was my first supercar, so it's a cool memory as well. I would say my favorite car would be the 570, I think, if I had to pick one of the cars I've owned to keep, and the Duramax is my favorite vehicle by far. What's a car you haven't owned that you would really want to have, or maybe you have your eye on one? That's another car I got my eye on for sure is, I've been, this is like a six month thing I've been dealing with here. I've been looking at pictures and everything. Um, I just haven't said anything recently, but when I saw that car at the car show the other day from the last upload, I was like, I really want one. And that is a split window Stingray. That would be awesome. That's been my dream car. So you have like different dream cars, I guess. I had my attainable dream car. That was the C7. My crazy dream car I never thought I would get. That was like a McLaren or a Lambo. It was actually a Lambo at the time, but before McLarens were even out. Uh, but I also, my classic dream car, would be a split window Stingray. If I had a big garage and I could just have like a whole collection, that would definitely be in it. And uh, that, I mean, I'm, look, I'm looking, we'll see. I'm actually going to Corvettes of Carlisle, which I'll be there by the way. I'll start putting the info down below. Uh, we're gonna be at Corvettes, uh, Corvettes of Carlisle in force this year. If you wanna hang out with us, Shane and I, and probably Troy, I'm sure will show up. John Turner's gonna be there. If you guys wanna come hang out, we'd love to see you and spend time. I'll have posters there and some stuff. Um, so that's coming up this weekend and I plan to look at maybe getting it because old guys always bring their cars and sell them. So if I can find a good split window there, I might be buying one this weekend for the right deal. Who knows? You know, if it comes along, my price range is like 30 to 40,000. So I'm not getting like a, a pristine original numbers matching car for that. I'm going to be getting like you know, all original, great condition. I'll, I'll for that price, that's like 150 Gs. For for my price, I'm looking at like a, a later restored. You know, probably like restored in the 80s or 90s, and it's okay. It's a good driver. It's not like a perfect car. That's what I'm gonna be looking for. We'll see if we can find one. Will you ever get a motorcycle? Had a motorcycle back in the day. Wrecked it. Never wrecked a car. Very good at driving. Not great at riding a motorcycle. Not for me. Too dangerous for me, especially now. I'm too old now to, to ride that. I would, you know, that's another thing. Like having kids, I would never, never have a motorcycle. Some people love them, and that's great. Nothing against it. Just for me, I, I couldn't do it. Thinking about bringing a boat to the channel. No, boating's not really my thing. I mean, I would love, like if I was rich, like really rich, I'd have a big yacht, you know, like a, I would love that. But bo other, other than that, boating isn't really my thing. Not really into it. Thought about buying a WRX. Not really into the whole Subaru thing. I, they're cool. I, you know, lots of people love them. Good car, just not, not for me. I don't like all-wheel drive. That's my thing. I don't like four-cylinder cars, and I don't like all-wheel drive. Now, some people are going to take that as like, wow, you're really, you're, you really hate them. No, I don't hate. It's just not my thing. It's the same way, like, um, you know, I'm not into Ferraris. Awesome cars. I just, I would never buy a Ferrari. And it's something I just don't like them. That doesn't mean they're bad though. And they're, you know, I see one, I'm like, oh, it's cool Ferrari. WRX is a great car. Just not for me. Asking about like a next call out event. I'm not sure. I've done a lot of drag racing events and I want to get into something different. Might do a roll racing event. Also, I've been very interested in doing a truck event. Um, so we'll see. I don't think I'm going to do another drag racing event though. The, the one last October at Maple Grove was really fun, very successful. Um, you know, everyone has a great time. So maybe, I don't know. It, people have fun. That's the thing. And I, I want people to have fun. But I want to try something different too. I'd like to do a roll racing event. I think that would be neat. A couple more. I'm trying to find something different. Uh, you know, something different. That's not a, a lot of uh, comments are very similar, as you would guess. Like I might have a thousand comments, but there's only like a hundred different ones because people ask the same stuff. Collab with Tall Guy Car Reviews already did. You know, definitely would again. He's out there in LA, living his best life. Uh, vehicles you would get. See, these are all pretty similar. I want to find a, find a good one. 
Uh, did you make a video about how to drive a manual with a Mustang a long time ago? Uh, no, that was with a Corvette. How much horsepower my Duramax has? Probably around 400 and around like 800, 900 pound feet of torque. It's not, not fast. It's not, it's not built to be fast. It's a daily driver. Pro comps and steelies on the Duramax. That'd be, now that'd be something. I actually thought about doing that for the winter. We'll see. Because if I go to a narrow, uh, if my stance isn't so wide, I could actually fit like a 40 inch tire on the Duramax, which would be kind of cool. Enjoy your videos because it helps with stress relief for college. I appreciate that, dude. Best of luck to you. School's tough, man. School, school's no joke. People act like, oh, you know, going to college is so easy. Well, it's hard in its own way, too. There's a lot of college kids pulling sleepless nights. Who has, who is the engine builder for the ZR1 at Corvette? Oh, I don't know. Is there a little plaque on it? I don't know. I didn't look. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I'll look and see. I like how they do that now in a lot of cars. Which vehicle do you most regret getting rid of? No, I don't really regret getting rid of any of my vehicles. Would you ever, I, I would, I mean, I guess I would say the 570, like that was my favorite, but I don't regret selling it. You know, it's, my cars, I like to change out. The truck I keep because the Duramax actually means a lot to me, like on an emotional level, which is kind of silly because it's a vehicle, but it does. And a lot of car people are, are like that. Uh, but my cars, you know, I, I have no problem switching them out. Would you collaborate with TJ Hunt? Actually, okay, we'll end on this one. That's a good one. Collaborating with TJ Hunt. So you might be aware that TJ Hunt is buying a C8 Corvette and we may or may not be taking delivery at the same time at the same place. So there you go. Um, and another big one is the GT500, a giveaway car. Well, here's the truth about that. 